Hello everyone, Babenchi here. Today I'll be comparing the GTX 1650 and the GTX 750 Ti in 9 different games. The GTX 1650, released in 2019, is a lower mid end GPU with 4 GB of VRAM. I am using a 1650 from Palette. The GTX 750 Ti, released in 2014, was a lower mid range GPU, same shit like a 1650. It has 2 GB of VRAM. I am using the GB version with dual fans, which keeps it really cool. System specs are displayed on the screen. All gameplay footage was recorded using a capture card. Now let's dive into the benchmarks. Stick around until end, where I will share my final thoughts. I know your books are expensive.
you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. All units advised, a vehicle pursuit is in progress. Officers needed in Tenderloin. Please copy. It's no surprise to see such a huge FPS difference. The GTX 750 Ti really feels slow by today's standards. With the GTX 1650 I can push higher settings, thanks to extra VRAM. And as expected, the newer game, the bigger is FPS gap. Upgrading to GTX 1650 can make playing older games and esports titles like CS2 much more comfortable. If you enjoy my benchmarks, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.